Welcome back to the Camby Dude channel. Glad you guys are tuning in today. As most of you know, recently I've made the the announcement that I'm transitioning from the 105 kilo class to become an open competitor and compete with the biggest of boys. Um, moving up a weight class is gonna come with its challenges. I believe it's gonna take three years of solid work in order to um, be toe to toe and compete with the best of the business. If you're interested in that transformation and journey, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. But for today's video, the question is, what will my body look like and what body type should I strive for? But before we do that, let's look back at some notable 105 kilo athletes that have made a successful transition into the open class. So first up, we have Adam Bishop of the UK. So many people don't know that Adam Bishop actually had a short stint as a 105 kilo athlete starting out. Um, he is a little taller than most 105 kilo athletes, so I, I believe that's why he didn't stay um, there for very long. He, he was he's 6'3", um, and of course at this, at this time he was 231 pounds or 105 kilos, but right now sits at 320 pounds. So over his strongman career, he's put on about 90 pounds. Next up, you have Mr. Graham Hicks. So Graham is just a powerhouse, very static strength, but many people forget he's also was a 105 kilo athlete at one point. So this is a video from back from 2010. We have Terry Hollins back in there. He's the of course referee for this. Uh, but Graham, of course, came from humble beginnings and really worked his way up to becoming the great presser that he is today. He even had the 170 kilo log press British record. I believe it was also a world record at that time, um, which was a cre credible lift uh, for only being in the sport for a few years at this point. And what a great press. Next up, another British athlete, Darren Sadler. So in this video, he's 5'10", 254 pounds. I think it is... In terms of weight, I think he got up to maybe around 260, but pretty much just a 205 kilo before he cuts weight. But he was a great 105 kilo athlete, won Worlds one year, took third another year, and then was also got the, the privilege of competing in the Open in the, the UK scene, as well as what you're seeing here, World's Strongest Man. And he used to beat out uh, in terms of events, especially in the qualifying heats against Marius Pujanowski. So he was a great athlete and, of course, had a great heavyweight career after moving up from 105 kilos. I've had the pleasure to compete with Mr. Rob Kearney, the next one on our list. I've competed with him about four times. He was the judge at my first very show in, back in 2012. I've been following his journey since. He made the move to the heavyweight. Um, starting in 2017 but as a 105 kilo athlete he had two world strongest man or sorry two America's strongest man finalist finish finishes um, he also competed at world strongest man 105 kilo he held the log record at 410 pounds and that record lasted for about six years um, and he moved on to bigger better things chasing the American record log and he competes at every big show so Rob has really really made that transition and really has made a name for himself um, as one of the top competitors out there in the scene Another American, and one of my favorites, Kevin Ferris. So Kevin exploded onto the 105 kilo scene back in 2016. He won a slew of competitions, USS Nationals, Strongman Nationals, or Strongman Corporation Nationals. He won the Arnold Amateur. He also won an SEL show. And from there, he decided to go heavyweight. Um, it was a slow build in terms of becoming a heavyweight. He, he pretty much started at 250 and grew up towards to up around 8280. But he now is at every big show, he's at Worlds every year, and he's really a staple and probably one of the best grips right behind Mark Felix, if not better than Mark Felix. Now that we've looked at f some top 105 kilos that successfully transitioned into the open class, let's look at five body types that I should strive for. So this is my top five when it comes to body types I should strive for when becoming a heavyweight. So starting off with number five. Coming right back to Kevin Ferris. Kevin is jacked at 6'2", 280 pounds. He's been working hard at that physique. It's six years he's been a heavyweight, so he's been able to kind of accumulate mass. He used to be up to around like 300, but he thought that was too chunky for him. So he's done times where he's cut or kind of slimmed down, but he feels great at 280. So for myself sitting at 260 right now, um, I feel that I could be pretty confident I could get to a, a physique like Kevin. And if I did, that would be a dream come true. Next up, we have the great John Paul Sigmerson at number four. 
John Paul is a four-time World's Strongest Man winner, one of the most eccentric out there. You always have to steal the spotlight. Great performer, great character. He originally had a bodybuilding background, so did many bodybuilding shows. But his physique is great, of course very lean, um, sitting around like 290 pounds, close to 300 pounds at probably at his peak. Um, the only difference is he is 6'3", I'm 5'11", 3 quarters, so about 3 inches difference. So it might be tough for me to be that lean at 290. But of course his physique is something that you gotta strive for because he was again, not only looked great, but he was actually super strong, winning 4 titles. Alright, number 3. The Great American, Derek Poundstone. I have, I've had the pleasure to speak with Derek, and I actually was quizzing on him last time I saw him about how much he weighed during his peak. Um, sitting around, or sitting around 6'1", he was around 290 pounds, 310 maybe in some contest. So he sat in between that range, but great physique at that level, huge shoulders. Um, I've been guilty of kind of co copying and emulating a lot of stuff that Derek does. Of course, I've done his twist when it done when he did the axle press back at the Mohegan Sun. I always try to copy his Poundstone hitch on the deadlift, so he sits really far back and then hitches the the weight back up. So Poundstone is one of my favorites, and definitely if I could look like the Poundstone, I'd be one bad man. Sitting at number two, we have Oleski Novikov of the Ukraine, coming off his fresh of his Rogue Invitational win of 2022. Oleski, you know he's not as jacked as Poundstone, but very similar dimensions in terms of being 6'1", anywhere uh, weighing between 290 and 300 pounds. But I feel like his body is just perfectly shaped for whatever he needs to do when it comes to strongman competition. So great legs, huge upper back, strong lower back, especially pulling all those um, those elevated deadlifts. So he would be a kind of a, a kind of a great shape, um, and literally one of the most efficient strongmen out there. So of course I wanted to compare myself to the 2020 World Strongest Man. So Oleski being our number two on this list. Okay, I lied. I forgot one. So this is my top six. My 2B is none other than Marius Pujanowski, the Dominator. Five-time World Strongest Man, nine finals, nine appearances. He sat at around 6'1", anywhere between 305 and 315. Probably one of the most jack strongman could have hopped into any bodybuilding contest while prepping for strongman shows. Um, Marius is also, again, a couple inches taller, so very similar shape to that of Derek Poundstone and Oleski Novikov, but what a great athlete and was so fun to watch. Over 40 international wins in his prime. Now you guys are probably wondering who's going to be number one. So for myself, I'm a 5'11", 3 quarters. I can't get any taller, so I got to think about a strong man that doesn't grow taller but grows wider. One of the thickest and strongest guys out there. So for my number one, we have Vitalis Lilas of Lithuania, the Lithuanian Hulk. Former World Strongest Man finalist, Arnold Classic champion. This man sitting at 5'9", 5'10", weighed anywhere between 315 pounds to 325 pounds. He's one of the thickest guys out there. His biceps were around 23 and a half inches. For reference, that's bigger than Arnold's, bigger than Mark McGuire's. He was a beast in his time. Um, now he's still kind of in the scene. He did a few competitions here and there with his brother, but at the time, man, he was a great static lifter, great mover, um, and almost edged out Zadrunas Savickas um, back in 2012. Um, but Zadrunas beat him on the power stairs, claiming his second world title at the time. But Vitalis Lilas is one of the greats one of my favorites from back when and just show and just had the true raw and static power something to achieve something to strive for so that's why he's on our list for number one for the number one body type to strive for on the Nicholas Gaming body type list that's it for today's video if you guys enjoyed please let me know if there's anybody that left off the list that I should consider please mention it in the comments Make sure to subscribe for any other new videos. Of course, following my, my transition from the 105 kilos to the heavyweights. 
And I'm